Now this problem is again from Newton's second law of motion. Question says a particle of mass 5 kg is pulled along a rough horizontal surface by a string which is inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal. So we have a mass of 5 kg. So this object has a mass 5 kg. This is kept on a rough surface. So this surface this time is not a smooth so this surface is rough so you have a rough surface now the inclination angle this angle is basically given to you and this angle is 60 degree let us call this angle is theta so theta is given to you that is 60 degree now if the acceleration of particle is g by 3 meter per second square so what will happen if this rope or this string is trying to pull this object will have a tendency to move in this direction and the, it is moving in this direction with the acceleration of z by 3 meter per second square so this is given and the coefficient of friction between particle and plane that is mu is 2 by 3 so plane and particle mu is given to you this is equals to 2 by 3 so we have to find tension in the string so let us say tension in the string is t so we have to find what is the value of t idea is again same but we have to do we have to break this tension in two component vertical direction and horizontal direction that is in this direction so we have to break the tension in these two direction so you see in this direction t cos theta so in this direction component of tension will be t cos theta so let me write here so in this direction component of tension is t cos t cos theta now in this direction component of tension will be t sin theta now this block is moving in this direction so there is a friction force opposite so friction force will act in this direction any other force is acting normal reaction so this surface will try to push this surface up this object up so there is a normal reaction that is also applied in this object let us call this normal reaction is n now we can write equation in two direction in vertical direction as well as in horizontal direction so let us first write equation in vertical direction so equation that is Newton's second law equation in vertical direction of course there is a force mz that is also acting in the downward direction because body force mz so we have to show mz since in vertical direction there is no acceleration so total upward force that is t sin theta plus n and this is minus mz because this is in the downward direction this is equals to mass into acceleration acceleration is zero so from here we will have t sin theta minus mz is equals to minus n or we can write n is equals to mz minus t sin theta let us call this equation equation number one now if we apply equation in the horizontal direction so let us write Newton's second law in horizontal direction so we will write Newton's second law in horizontal direction that is force is equals to mass into acceleration so let us write force in this direction so in this direction we have force t cos theta and opposite direction we have force friction f and friction is given by mu times n so we can write t cos theta minus mu n t cos theta minus mu n this is equals to mass and acceleration in this case is z by 3 that is given so acceleration is z by 3 
Now normal reaction we have calculated. So if we plug this normal reaction, so I will have T cos theta minus mu times normal reaction is mz minus T sin theta. This is equals to mz by 3. Now we have to solve this one. So let us say T one side. So T cos theta and this minus minus plus plus mu sin theta minus mu mz is equals to mz by 3. So if I do more calculation I will have t cos theta plus mu sin theta and this goes this side and value of mu is 2 by 3 so we can plug this value mu is equals to given so this is 2 by 3 so mu is equals to 2 by 3 so this becomes 2 by 3 mz plus mz by 3 that is simply mz so I will have t cos theta plus mu sin theta is equals to mz so in this case tension will be mz divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta we can plug the values of mass mass is 5 kg and theta is 60 degree so t will be mass is 5 into z and g is 10 cos 60 cos 60 is basically 1 by 2 plus 2 third of sin 60 that is root 3 by 2 so 2 goes out so we will have 50 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 by root 3 if you do more simplification you can write 50 into 2 root 3 divided by root 3 plus 2 that is basically 100 root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3 Newton. So this is the tension in the string we will have. Now this problem is again related to Newton's second law. Question says a car of mass 1000 kg. So mass of this car is given and this is equals to 1000 kg. Is brought to rest from a speed of 40 meter per second. So let us say you have initial speed that is 40 meter per second so this car is moving with a speed of 40 meter per second in this direction after some time it comes to rest so this is the final situation of car so let us say this is the final situation of car so when it comes here car becomes rest so v is equals to 0 now distance travel from here to here that is 80 meter so it comes into rest after traveling a distance of 80 meter find the braking force of the car assuming that it is constant so we have to find braking force that is the brake applies the force so what is this braking force so we have to find what is this braking force assuming that it is constant and there is a constant resistance to the motion of 100 Newton so apart from this braking force there is another resistance let us call this resistance is constant and this is applied 100 Newton and this is constant basically this will be variable but for simplicity we can assume this force is a constant this is basically reverse of Newton's second law of motion basically in this case force is equals to mass into acceleration generally f mass and accelerations are given you have to find out the force but in this case force ah uh, sorry in generally force is given and acceleration you have to find it out but in this case acceleration is given you have to find out the force so this is given and you have to find out the force but generally this is reverse that is force is given and you have to find out the acceleration so we have to find out the acceleration 
are you getting or not so let us say first find what is the acceleration in this case from here to here so if I apply b square minus u square is equals to 2as formula so final velocity is 0 initial velocity is 40 v square minus u square is equals to 2 into a and distance travel is 40 so from here we can say 2a is equals to 40 because 140 goes so a is equals to, this is a minus sign so a is equals to minus 20 meter per second a square uh, basically this distance s is not 40 this is 80 so this is if I plug this 80 so we will have this is 40 so this is uh, let me rub this one so we will have minus 1600 this is equals to 18 to 160 into a so a is equals to minus 10 meter per second square now let us draw the free body diagram of the object this object is here what are the forces that is acting one is constant resistance force this is 100 Newton so this force is acting on this block this is because the friction so friction is there car tires will apply a friction so there is a constant force of 100 Newton due to the friction so this force 100 Newton is basically coming from friction between tire and floor now there is a constant resistance force that is also applied and this is by brake so you have tire and the brake will apply a constant resistance force R so this R is basically coming from brake so brake apply this R now acceleration basically in this case deceleration is 10 meter per second square so object is going in this direction I have deceleration but uh, basically uh, acceleration in this direction so we can apply force is equals to mass into acceleration so 100 plus R is equals to mass into acceleration basically in this direction this is acceleration mass of this is a thousand kg and acceleration is 10 so from here we can find R this is 10,000 minus 100 so we will have R is equals to 9900 Newton so this is the force that is applied so this force is applied by the brick in this case you see we have found force and acceleration is indirectly given 